Good morning, Jags. Prom is just around the corner. We took a trip down prom memory lane and looked at the history of Bloomington's mega prom. Let's go chat with some staff administrators to learn more. So we've done a combined prom for as far back as I could find, and it's just so we can be one big Bloomington. Um, and we've got Jefferson, Kennedy, Choice, and Newcote Academy that is all involved and gets to come. This year, prom is at Mall of America once again, but we've um, extended the time that we have Nickelodeon Universe, so we're going to have the park for the entire time from 8.30 to 11.30. And we're moving the DJ down to the Nick Universe floor, so he'll be down by the swings and playing music so kids can go on rides and then go back to the DJ and go back and forth. Um, I'd say the advantage of having a combined prom is that it gives kids the opportunity to see friends from around town that they might not have seen in a long time. We do still have one middle school where you know they kind of split up and half of them come to Jefferson, half of them go to Kennedy. So it's a chance for people to see friends. Um, I think I remember back when when I was dean and we would plan prom and looking at the numbers and everything, uh, some of the big ones that we had were maybe 1,200 total students there, which is quite a lot. We are so grateful to be able to experience such a fun and unique Bloomington prom each year. Have fun this weekend, Jags, and we'll see you at the dance. This has been Abby Jurek reporting for Jaguar Spots.